Yes, sir. I was looking for that two pound. <laughs> yeah, no. Yo, I was looking for that two pound. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for two pounders now. <laughs> yeah, nothing but. Thank you. Yeah, you probably close to two pounds. Let's see. One and three quarters. Yeah. Oh, I like a pink and pink and shot. What up, everybody? Before y'all ask, you know I'm Mississippi, so I gotta represent some of them good blues. That's Bobby Blue Bland. Y'all don't know nothing about that. But uh, today we're gonna do the catch, clean, and cook. I'm gonna show y'all three different ways I clean my fish. Y'all know nothing about no Bobby Blue Bland. But yeah, I'm going to do three different ways how I clean my fish. We're going to uh, do the regular fillet. Then we're going to do a, 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 a fillet with the rib cage in. And I'm going to do a scale. Just a full scale, scale on the fish. So, this is my, um, I use just this regular little Rapala. The cordless Rapala. I've had it for about a year now. This works pretty good. The blade, probably about every three times I go fishing, I got to put a new blade in. About every time I clean fish, about every third time, buy a new blade. The new blade is number like seven, eight bucks, so. And the cabinet is like seven, eight bucks, so. So that's what I use. So we're going to go ahead and fillet. Went out. I actually caught these yesterday. Me and a friend went out yesterday. And we caught these, so. I'm going to show you how to do my fillet. Go 
around the backbone. I mean, I'm sure y'all have seen the plenty. That's why I'm not going to talk it through. Cause I'm sure everybody has seen how somebody fillet a crappie. So, you know, you just go down the backbone, uh, flip it over. Boom. Got your pretty fillet. Just like that. Boom. You got your pretty fillet. I'm in an apartment too, so that's another reason to show you how I do my scaling without having scales everywhere. But yep, you got one fillet. And all we do, flip it over to the other side. second filet so we got that done let me go grab my tray did you just get on the water I actually got two more water in here I definitely got let me get some more water out while I'm doing this Black nose too, y'all. That's a nice size black nose. Black nose cracker. Nice size black nose cracker too. Compliments of Lake Somerville. But yeah, if you scale them on the water, you ain't got to worry about no. Probably feel to sink up by halfway. If you feel to sink up by halfway. Then all the scales will be in the sink. Now, while I'm saying that, don't make the mistake I did one time. I uh, I was I was scaling some fish for somebody, and um, I ended up scaling some over the garbage disposal and let them go down the garbage disposal, and thought I could just cut it on it to run out. Nope, it stopped up the sink, and I had to take it all apart myself and clean it all out. So please don't make the mistake I did. Scale them on the side, the open side, that don't have the uh, garbage disposal. You got to make sure you watch yourself too, because them fins will get you. Them fins don't feel good when they get you. Either. Whichever, I'm thinking everybody that went fishing and got fins at least a dozen times. If not more, because I know I, I've been fishing since I was like six or seven, so like six years old or something like that. So, I done got the fin plenty of time. Really like the crapper that fin me. It's always those. Them brim. And the catfish done got me a few times too. When I scale too, y'all, I'm very thorough. That was, I'm taking so long. I don't want no scales on the fish. I go back over the fish like two or three times. It takes me a long time to scale fish. That's another reason why I don't scale them either. Because I don't want no scales on my fish. But I think we got this one pretty good. Scaled out. So, you want to scale it on the water. See, no scales nowhere. They all in the sink. Like I say, make sure you do it on the side where there is no, um, with, with that, with, with no garbage disposal. Alright, so, we can let that water out. Now, we just do a regular cleaning. Cut the head off. This knife ain't sharp either. I need to, uh, so I got a little sharpener. I need to sharpen it. We'll use the one with the serrated blade on it. That was a fillet knife I was trying to cut through the bone with. So 
So the head is gone. So it's a headless fish. What I like to do, I just cut right here. We see these fins right here on the bottom. I cut that off too. So I just cut straight across it, just like this. So while you're doing that, it make like a V down there. Be easier for me to clean all the little guts out. So I like this part. You just go up in there. Look, we still got eggs in them. Thought the sponge, they would have sponge. She ain't done sponge. She don't got a lot of eggs, so she probably has spun some of them already out. I don't think y'all want to see that, so I'm not going to put that in the camera so y'all don't see that. So she got some more eggs on. There she go. Anybody want some crappie caviar? Let me know. You got some crappie caviar. So what I like to do, I like to get inside there. Like cut all that open. Like I said, I'm real thorough. Cause I don't play about what I eat, especially if I if I, if I got to eat and I, and I can see it, I want to clean it. So I go inside with this knife and clean it all up. And I know a lot of people like I know you don't do that. If I'm scaling fish, I do this on all every fish I scale. I make sure I go all the way through it and clean everything out of it. So now the fish is clean. We just gotta rinse it out. And we'll be good to go. So let's rinse it out. All right, y'all. I just want to show y'all basically how you end up. You got your full fillet with the rib cage. You got your regular fillets. And you got your whole fish clean. I just got an extra fillet over there, too. But yeah, so we're going to cook these up and see what the end result is going to be. So I'm going to show y'all something else I, I do the majority of the time. I like to cut my fillets in strips. And these strips taste so delicious. So what I do, I cut it right down the middle first. So that's one strip. Then I split the big side of the fillet, the back, and split it in half. Like that. Let me show you how sharp this, this knife is. So boom. So you get three strips off each fillet. Look how long bite them right now. They look so good. But yep, that's how you do it. Go down the center. Cut that out. Then you go down the back. And split it in the middle. Boom. Like that, go down the middle of the back, split it in two, and now you got crappie strips. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Skinny Kenny, the Bronze Star Vet, and today we about to do us some catch, cook, and cleaning. So this is the um, uh, the last part I showed y'all about the uh, cleaning. Now I'm gonna show y'all on how I cook mine. Everybody cooks it different, you know, and there's no right or wrong way as long as it comes out right. That's what you want. So I'm gonna show you what I use for seasoning. Louisiana, fish fry, a little bit of slap your mama. And if you wanna go old school, you go with the cornmeal. So uh, first we're gonna do, we're gonna do some fillets, strips. So I got some strips right here. And all I do is, uh, you know, make sure everything is washed, let them soak, and let the water out. I don't pat them dry, none of that. I keep them kinda wet. Also give me a little slap your mama.
So you want to make sure you get that all good and season up first. in there. Got your Louisiana. We already got it pre-seasoned with some of Slap Your Mama. You see that? You can see the seasoning on it. So, get you a couple pieces in there. So we finna throw them in the fryer. Let me show y'all the fryer. Little fryer. I got a little small deep fryer. I got it, it was a Christmas gift. And I use it a lot. Yeah, so I just use that little fryer right there. All right, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Y'all see them, that's, them, that's the uh, home filet with real cake. Y'all see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, time for the big boy. Uh, yeah, this is the end result. We got the uh, strips, fillets with the back, uh, with rib cake, and we got the whole crappie. I had towed the tail off just to see what it ready. Oh, it's definitely ready. Appreciate y'all for checking out the video. It's your boy, Skinny Kenny, aka the Brown Star Vet. I'm about to eat. I holler.